Dr. Nick Kabaka, Nick Kabaka, number nine. He likes to dance and keep in time. This is how we're used to seeing the Wiggles. On stage, in their skivvies, performing for thousands of children. What we're not used to seeing are the Wiggles like this. Sure, they find it hard to stop singing, but away from the stage and out of character, they're just like you and me. And on this sunny day in New York City, I invited Anthony, Emma, Simon, and Lockie over to my place. Great to see you in your plain clothes. Yeah. Uh, do people ever recognize you in your ordinary clothes? Uh, we went to breakfast and a, and a family recognized us and we were just in our gym clothes. Uh, they were so lovely, we had photos with the children and then they left. We had breakfast and then we went, we went to pay. Uh, she's like, oh no, the family paid for you. Oh. And we were like, oh, what? We were, and I think that's something that we never expected. Like we've seen it happen to the original lineup, but for us to be recognized, um, you know, and this is our first year of being Wiggles is really lovely. There's more to these Wiggles than meets the eye. They're multi-talented, for example. Emma is a graduate. What? A graduate of the Australian Film and Television Sydney School? Film School. Sydney Film School. I've just done student. my master's in Master's in editing or in film? In film. Yeah. Film. <laughs> <laughs> We're a terrible agent. We're very close. We're very close. Very close. <laughs> Don't you like, you like when your mum or dad starts yeah. boasting, but they don't really know what the actual details are. He's a really proud granddad. Of the like granddad. Simon used to be the phantom of the opera. Really? He cites opera as his main musical influence. Now this is the curse of the race, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I can't go any higher. <laughs> now, Lachlan, you look like you could be in a boy band. He does. Does he? Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and if Emma wasn't here, he would be. Uh, sort of a... <laughs> With an old guy. <laughs> did you have any aspirations to do that? I did. My, my very first, uh, went over to my auntie's house when I was quite young and she had Human Nature CD. Oh. And I hadn't had any CDs before this and she said, take it, I don't want to listen to it anymore. <laughs> and I said, okay, oh, I'd love to. But, um, they, they were my first real influence. And then when I was in high school, we started, I started, we went to an all, I went to an all boys school. That wasn't really anything to tell anyone, you don't really say. That comes up a lot with some of the music we listen to, and I would hide. I wouldn't say Savage Garden or Backstreet Boys or Human Nature, I would just say Metallica or... <laughs> what do you know? Lockie is a closet One Direction fan. Baby, you light up our lives like nobody else. The way you eat fruit salad. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> Rest assured, these guys love their day job. Longest serving Wiggle Anthony lights up talking about his longtime fans. It is amazing when you think about the, the children that started with you when you started, you know, the original Wiggles. Now, how old would they be? Well, it's 23 years. So if they were five or six or seven or eight, they're bringing their children and, and they're at the shows. And some children are wearing the uh, shirt that their grandma bought their mum. Count me in as a Wiggles nut. In fact, I'm an honorary Wiggle. Could this be a new career path? Wait a way to percolate. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the Java Jive and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Wait, you sing that well, Bill said? We're gonna take, you know what? Sunrise, I need a couple of months off. I'm going on the road yes. with the Wiggles. Yes. Got it.